Hello everyone, welcome to I Learning Digital Class. Uh, my name is Steven. I want to use um, this medium to appreciate those that are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I am so so grateful. Thank you so much um, for taking your time to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for the like. Thank you for the comment as well. And I'm so uh, grateful. Thank you so so much. And if you are watching this um, video and you've not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly hit on the um, subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the notification button as well so that anytime I upload um, uh, videos like this, you'll be the first person to get the notification. So, uh, uh, what um, we want to start a new uh, project series and what are we going to, uh, to be working on? So, we are going to uh, create a hospital management system. So, uh, it's a web application hospital management system. So, um, with Node.js, with Express, and I use my SQL as well as the database. So, um, let me, without any further ado, so what this video is all about is that I just want to show us how this hospital management system works, how this web application works. So, that is what I want to show us in this video. So, now let's add, uh, let's go into our browser now. So, as you can see, now this is the home page for this web application. So, this is a template I downloaded from um, Colorlib. Let me show you. So, this is it. So, this template is made. Um, uh, by Colorlib, so I downloaded this template at Colorlib. It's a free template. So, uh, um, okay. So what we want to do now is that before we can access our um, uh, hospital management system, we need to uh, sign up. After when we sign up, then we are going to log in. So let me click on the sign up button now. So for us to be able to sign up. Okay. So. Um, this is my username here. I will need to input uh, my email address here. So this is my email address. So I will need to input my password as well. So I need to input my password Then click on this. Then I click on sign up. So once um, the user click on sign up, it says check your, e uh, check, uh, your email for token to verify. So once the user click on the sign up, they need to um, visit their um, email um, address to check their inbox then they will need to verify so what i use here is that i use node mailer to send up uh, this message so these are all these kind of things you are going to learn uh, um, in this project you will learn how you can uh, you know uh, use node mailer to send confirmation confirmation message um, to anybody that signed up so you learn how you can uh, make, connect your express uh, gs with uh, my sql so these are all these kind of things you are going to learn in this um, project so let's move in into my inbox now to go and verify so and then i want to um, refresh okay as you can see now this is it message here saying email verification so let me click on this so that we'll be able to verify my email address so here's what he's saying dear kingsman thank you for signing up your verification id and token is given below so uh this is my verification link now verify link so let me click on this so that I'll be able to verify. Okay. So um, okay, I will need to input my user ID and token that is sent to, uh, together with this message. As you can see now, this is my user ID 30, and this is the token here. So let me just copy this token here. Let me copy this token, and uh, my user ID is 30. So if I input the wrong uh, token, it's not going to verify. It's not going to verify. So, but let me just uh, paste the correct token here. I click on verify so once the verification is successful it's gonna bring me here telling me to uh, it's going to tell me to log in so uh, let me now log in now okay so this is my username Kingsman and click on login so once I click on login it's going to redirect me to uh, to as you can see now this is our dashboard now this is our dashboard uh, for this um, hospital management system so here we have uh, me as the admin so uh as you can see here now these are the number of doctors the number of appointments and um, you know pending ones and the likes so uh okay let me show us now this is a doctor now if you want to add uh, you know doctors you can come here just click here okay. so as you can see now these are the numbers of doctors that are you know on this that have only added to this um, web application so you can come here and click on add doctor so um, it's going to take us to where we need to add our doctor so okay 
so we can come here to add the doctor we can uh, input the first name here the last name uh the date of birth. you know we can even as well choose um a picture uh, as well so the department where the doctor belongs you can come here and and do that as well so um you can come here let me come to um appointments uh let me come to appointments okay so you can as well um the patient can come here to you know book an appointment so add an appointment to it so let me click on the other appointment so you can come here where you are the patient's name uh so uh, for example let's say the patient name is um uh, maybe steven for example so um maybe the department she wants to see is uh maybe cancer department or ent or dentist department so you can just come here and you know create an appointment so you can um see the list of um uh employees list here you can, you can as well see the list of employees so here are the um list of employees the search button is working fine so you can come here to um, employee name for example uh let's say the employee name is uh, you start to here let me copy this and paste this here and click on search so it's going to search through it and bring out the exact um, what i search here as you can see now this is this is the user two that i search here the other time and it brings it out for me you can search either using the id you can as well search either using the user or the employee name so uh which other thing again uh the payroll for example uh the employee salary if you want to uh check that as well you want to check that as well so you can come here to uh generate uh, the employee name you can come here to generate the salaries any you can generate sleep as well so um i mean this is you are you, there are a lot of things uh we are going this is the sleep for the um uh, uh, play uh pay sleep for the month of july okay so this is the play sleep number so um as you can see these are the breakdowns of the employees any so um i mean a lot of things you can as well go to the medicine store uh you know to to check uh the, the numbers of uh, i mean these are these are various medicine that are added to this platform the purchase dates the expiring dates so the the when the expire is going to end the price for it the quantity they have on grand so um the action you can as well delete these you can edit it so guys there are a lot of things um i believe you are going to learn from this project so this is what we are going to be creating together so this is what we are going to be creating together so you will learn how you can you know uh, make this search uh you know how you can search through um anything that is coming from your database um a lot of things you are going to learn from this project you are going to learn um how you can make use of express js you are going to learn how you can you know connect x um my sql um how you can connect your node uh, js uh, um you know together with your um my together with your database that is my sql so a lot of things a lot of things you are going to learn from this project so guys um this is what this project is all about so um I strongly believe that you want, you really want to uh, uh, you know learn how you can create something like this as well. So as time goes on, as I begin to add other fixtures to this project, I'll begin to you know update uh, you know I'll begin, I'll begin to update also. In my next video, what um, we are going to start uh, afresh. You know, we we'll start writing our code on how we can build a project like this. So. Um, uh, I, and I believe you really wants to um, learn uh, something like this. So guys. I believe you enjoyed this um, uh, hospital management system. So this is what we are going to be creating in this pro, uh, new series that I, that I want to start with us. So thank you so much for taking your time to watch. So uh, don't forget to hit on this um, subscribe button if you, don't, if you have not yet subscribed on this channel, so that um, you are going to join me to um, you know uh, learn together with me on how you can create uh, a project like this. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch. I'm still your host. I'm still your friend. See you in my next uh, video. Thank you so much.